What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? Yes, it's me again. My name is Jerry, resident physician in Maryland, USA. Originally, I was an international medical graduate, took step one, step two, step three, and made it through the interviews into residence successfully. Now, if you will give me five to 10 minutes, I will talk about the resources that I use and how I use them to get the best out of them in order to make it through step one, step two, step three, and even the ITE. Now, one of the most important things that you need to be successful on the USMLE is the right information. And I believe that is the most important thing that you need, the right information, be it during the registration for the exams, studying for the exams, and even during the interview process, you need the right information. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how I benefited from the resources that I used. Now, let's dive straight into it. The first thing that you want to consider is how are you going to study for this exam? what are you going to use to study for the exams there are several resources out there um, name them there, there are about a thousand and one resources out there but um, you don't need all those resources because the information are reproduced in those various resources that you come across so the uh, most important thing is to streamline to a few resources that work for you and then take it from there now let me talk about the first resource that I use, and I believe this is the most important resource, is the UWorld. So UWorld is a question bank, and what it does is that it gives you very important concepts from the various topics that you need to be successful on the USMLE. Now, there are several questions that you come across in the UWorld, and there are several ways that you can also use UWorld. Let me tell you how I used UWorld. So when I started doing UWorld, yeah, it was discouraging that my scores were very um, low. Um, at the time, I didn't know exactly how to go about it. Um, all I knew was I was uh, trying to score high on the UWorld. But later did I realize that um, UWorld is actually not a material that you want to use to assess yourself at the beginning, but you rather want to use it as a study tool. Um, in that regard, you want to be able to read all the details of every question that you do, be it a correct question that you got or a wrong question, you want to read and extract all the information from it. So one of the things that I was doing that did not help me was that I was focusing on the scores that I was getting. Say, if I'm doing about 20 questions and I get about 5 out of 20, then like it demoralized me. Uh, but going forward, I realized that that wasn't the way to use UWorld. UWorld is a study tool. And when I started reading the rationale uh, behind why they asked the question and why I got it wrong and why they chose their uh, correct answers, then my knowledge began to improve and that directed me um, towards the um, right direction. Right, so you want to take your time, do not rush the U world, just take your time and read every details of the U world. If possible, make notes and make flashcards out of the U world questions. That is um, how I use the U world. Again, you don't want to limit yourself to the explanations in the U world alone. If, say, U world is um, telling you something that you do not really understand, you want to resort to your med school notes, you want to read um, books like Harrison, if that is what you have, you also want to watch some YouTube videos for topics that. Um, you are not so clear about uh, what you world is talking about. There may be some topics in you world that you did not really pay attention to when you were in med school. Some of the concepts were not taught in med school. So when you meet them in you world, that's the time for you to take your time, go back to the beginning of that chapter and read the background knowledge that you need to appreciate the topic. So that is how I used UWorld and later I became so familiar with UWorld uh, questions and things became easier going forward. So you will get there as well. Now, 
The next resource that I used was the first aid. First aid is the Bible of the USMLE. It contains all the information that you need to pass the USMLE steps and it's been condensed. And some of the topics have been condensed such a way that not everything is captured in it. So again, just like the U World, it's the, the first aid is for referencing. So um, if you are not familiar with any topic in the first aid, you want to also go back to textbooks, lecture videos to really understand those topics, right? Now, another thing that I did in the, um, in, in my whole journey when I was using the first aid was um, I want to take notes from the first aid or, and then when I read anything, say the U world, I'll make notes into the first aid and then when I'm also um, doing U world questions, I want to refer to the first aid and see additional information that they could add to the topics that are coming from um, U world. So you want to use U world and first aid as a complemental, uh, com complementary tool for um, each um, other. Um, so first aid, U world, it's a must. Next is Pathoma. Pathoma, very very good, very good. Some people use Pathoma as a podcast, and it's very very good for pathology. So for those of us whose pathology was not very good when we started. And doing um, the U world, Pathoma was very vital. You want to get a Pathoma, the book itself, and also you want to get the um, the videos. And those using them together, it's um, it's very important in scoring high on a Pathoma. Now, uh, sorry, on pathology. And uh, pathology uh, forms about forty five percent of the exam that you are going to take, so you want to take it very serious. And Pathoma, um, what I did with Pathoma was that um, first I went through it. I went through it, um, the whole chap uh, the whole book, um, watching videos um, gradually and find eventually I was able to finish. And next is that um, when I was doing my second pass of Pathoma, I started from the back page because the back has sh like smaller topics like breast, skin, and all that. Those are small, so you can finish them faster and before you come and focus on topics like hematology that are broad, you know? So you want to devise some strategy so that it, it doesn't look like there's a lot of information for you to cover. So that's one way I was able to do a pathoma um, within maybe two, three weeks, I can finish pathoma, watch all the videos and read everything in it. So. Um, you want to devise some strategies like that. Now, now the first four chapters of Pathoma is very key to scoring high on pathology in the exams. First four chapters, you want to do those chapters back to back before your exam. Let's say a week before your exam, you want to do uh, those um, chapters also. But I encourage people to do the first three chapters of Pathoma anytime they you are going to take, let's say, a mock test. You are going to take your NBMEs. You want to see if you are not really strong on those chapters. You want to just brush through them once more before you take it, and you will see an improvement in your NBME scores. And that tells you that you are ready for, uh, you are getting ready. And um, if you um, keep repeating Pathoma, then you get used to it before you sit for the exam. Um, yeah. Now, Another important resource that I use, I talked about it already, was Boards and Beyond. Boards and Beyond is also very important to use. Um, so if your physiology is not very good, then Boards and Beyond is where you want to go to. And I love Boards and Beyond in the sense that he goes straight to the point, whatever you need, he goes straight to it. And all these resources that I'm mentioning, um, what I advise you is that you should know what resource is best for you when it comes to a certain topic, you know, so that um, if I'm doing biochemistry, I know I am not going to use um, Boss and Beyond because it doesn't work for me, you know. Um, I would rather use a different resource and then I'll mention that as well. So you should uh, allocate the resources specific to topics that 
works for you. It might not work for someone, it might work for someone else. So it's all up to you. Um, next resource that I would talk about is um, the use of um, lecture videos like Dr. Najib. So Dr. Najib videos are very, very important. I use those for biochemistry and it was good. Kaplan is another one that is also very comprehensive. And those of us who have time, you know, if you have enough time, say you are still in your med school, at this time then you want to do Kaplan because it gives you a better perspective of all the topics that you need for the USMLE. And people who did Kaplan very well have usually tell you that they have higher scores compared to um, the other resources. So you want to also look at Kaplan and see. So I did Kaplan for um, some part of like genetics, you know, and I saw a very great improvement in my scores when it comes to genetics. So you want to also see if that um, works um, for you. There are other resources like podcasts. Um, there are some YouTube videos that you also want to um, to watch. Um, there are some like um, divine intervention for especially those doing um, step two. You want to also watch some of those videos. They might help you. Um, these days you also hear of Melman videos. Um, they are also there. Um, and then he also has a YouTube channel and um, also he um, also has some um, PDFs and they are all helpful. They've been helpful to um, a lot of people. So yeah, um, these are some of the resources that um, um, I uh, personally um, used. Um, the latter ones, I did not really use them, but the first four that I mentioned, UWorld, First Aid, Pathoma, Boss and Beyond, Dr. Najib, these resources have been very, very vital in, uh, in my um, success today. So um, I want to say a big thank you to those who put those resources together and God bless them so much. At least um, I was able to benefit from um, those resources and um, thanks and I believe that will help you um, as well. Um, thanks for watching this video and I really appreciate your attention. I wish you success. I wish you um, um, the best in your journey and then I'll see you in the next video. Share, subscribe and comment. Bye.